Hello everyone, I am Deborah, and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. The question that I have for you today is, did you make it to the Dollar Tree to pick up your Valentine's Day cards? Well, if you didn't, I went for you. No, psych. <laughs> I went for me, you guys, because Valentine's Day is just a couple of weeks away. It is rapidly approaching. And as I told you in a previous Valentine's Day video that I put out about a week or so ago, if you haven't yet seen it, I'll leave the link above. You guys, Valentine's Day cars are ultra special for us girls, okay? And before I get into all that, I just want to say to you guys, 2020 was a year filled with a whole bunch of stuff that we never expected to happen, okay? Let's just face it, that is what it was. But also, it was also filled with a whole bunch of unexpected things that we didn't plan on happening, but we could also use for the good. And what I mean by that is because we were, you know, forced to stay in and and and, and stay home and just make things different the way that we were so unaccustomed to doing, it really forced us to really reassess our lives, reassess our loved ones, reassess what is really important in our lives and set aside those things that we used to do that really truly didn't matter anymore because we were forced to do so. And in doing so, we were able to reconnect with people and then really truly show people and tell people how we feel about them because it's so important. And if you think about, you know, your own family and friends and your relationships, a lot of us actually really truly got away from those things. And those things are so very important, especially in the season of 2020 that we all went through where a lot of people did not make it through that year, okay, to see another day. So it makes our relationships with each other so much extra special. So I had to put that out there because one of the things that we can do to demonstrate to people how we feel about them is to give them cards. Guys, I love, love, love cards, okay? Anytime there is an opportunity to give somebody a card, whether it be for Mother's Day or Valentine's Day or Christmas or Thanksgiving or whatever the holiday may actually be or a just because I was thinking about you card, do it. Because those words that are on those cards, okay, they express how you feel about the other individual. And those words are the, wor the words that you can take with you forever. And those make beautiful memories. So I say all of that just to bring you to me going to the Dollar Tree. And I am going to roll some footage for my trip there just to show you guys that the Dollar Tree does in fact have it going on when it comes to cars. And again, you cannot beat the price. The cars are two for a dollar. The cars are one for a dollar. So you get yourselves out there and you get these cars. And again, when you bring them home, you open them up, you read them. And if they don't exactly express everything that you want them to say to the other person, you put your own extra special touch in it and you write what you are feeling. So very important, guys. So... When I was there, I got my Valentine's Day cards. And also, because this is a brand new year, that means birthdays are starting up again. So while I was there, I also got some uh, birthday cards. So I made my trip and I wanted to come to you guys and reiterate the fact that you need to make yours too because it is that important. Words are special, words are so meaningful, you know, words are, they, they just do so much for an individual. If a person is having a bad day, the words that you speak, say to a person or give a person changes their day. So please do get out to the Dollar Tree, get your Valentine's Day card and make somebody's day extra special. 
All right, guys, thank you for joining me. Please do give this video a thumbs up, please do share, and please do subscribe to my channel if you've not yet done so. And remember to remain safe, healthy, and encouraged. And until we meet again, keep growing, keep thriving, and keep pushing those boundaries. And I will see you all real soon on my next I've Got Something to Say too. Thank you guys so much for joining me.